Not on MP Timba Mliskwa says registered voters who don't vote in elections should be penalized for wasting taxpayers' money. Commenting on South African opposition leader Julius Malema's pledge to assist Zimbabweans retain home to vote in the 23 August general elections, Mliskwa said Zimbabweans have developed apathy towards voting and those who stay at home on voting day should be penalized. He said, Julius Malema must understand that the people already here in Zimbabwe don't want to vote again. Since 2000, the average voter turnout has been immensely 45.67%. The recent March 26 by elections had even worse turnout figures according to ZEC. The first task is to convince those who are here to go out and vote. That's why I had proposed moving a motion that registered voters who don't vote should be penalized because they are wasting taxpayers' money. Those in the diaspora are even worse and won't come to vote. It's as simple as that they can be depended upon by any party. The most depressing about our politics is that people are losing confidence in the electoral system as an avenue for change and development. Therefore, this benefits the incumbent massively. As for Kasukwere, it's unthinkable how an effective political campaign can be carried out from outside the country. With all the facts about our political context, how can one gain followers when they themselves are hiding outside? What confidence inspired in potential supporters? Therefore, there is no alternative to being on the ground. Social media can only work to a limited extent. Tyson is my comrade and friend, but I will say the truth that he needs to be on the ground if he intends to make an impact. People may want change, but it is to be planned for. It won't happen by chance without a plan. Look at the Chinese and how they have developed themselves over time. Be on the ground, five years working and then contest. That will work. Malema, who leads South Africa's second largest opposition party, the EFF, said that his party is ready to hire buses to transport Zimbabwe so that they can vote for the government of their choice. He made the remarks on Thursday at the party's 10th anniversary celebration at Uncle Tom's Community Center in Soweto.